Hey guys, so I have a bit of a haul video. I apologize, I'm recording on my bed. We hit up several stores, including Don Quixote, Daiso, and then Hansido, which, let me see, let me check what I got. It's like a mixed bag. I think Tansido is a stationary slash art supply store. So I am gonna go ahead and get started with the Don Quixote haul. So at Don Quixote, I picked up a lot of friction stuff. They have a small stationary section, as you guys could see in the Japan trip uh, photo log, photo morgue. So I picked up two different sets of friction colors pens. I see people playing with these on YouTube all the time. I've played with them a little bit in the past, so I look forward to getting to mess with these. They do put a paid sticker on, which is actually really handy. I was a little bit concerned how they were keeping track of that. I also picked up some liquid eyeliner. Uh, definitely the, the Rose of Versailles Shoujo Eyes did sell me, but I've also heard good things about this brand and I meant to pick some up uh, last time when I was in Tokyo and I didn't, I got talked out of it. Another Frixon pen, some nail decals because I've been doing kind of YouTube nails and these are really pretty, although this one's missing a stone, which is kind of a bummer. Some Japanese hot oil. And then a gift for me and for a friend. So a friend asked me if I saw it, if I would pick her up some jelly lipstick. So I got peach, which is probably gonna be for me, and strawberry, which is probably gonna be for her, but I'll let her pick which one she wants. And then a big, textured sketchbook because I prefer textured paper. So that was my Don Quixote haul. So as you guys can see, I picked up a lot of stuff at Daiso, mostly stationary. I did pick up one candy, milk tea candies, which are delicious, and a neat suction cup phone mount, but mostly little notebooks and loads of brush bins because I know you guys are always interested in how Daiso products compare. And they have a lot, okay, so Daiso does sell these Zebra Fude pins, which I have been told are copic marker proof, alcohol marker proof, and waterproof. So if you're looking for inexpensive Zebra pens, Daiso's got them. And Platinum, actually. Platinum is another brand that I really like. And then Daiso brand, Daiso Japan, brush pins. And another zebra brush pin. I'll let you guys know how I like them. And another Daiso brush pin. A couple of Daiso water brushes. I kind of feel like water brushes are all the same, so I'm always looking for inexpensive brush pins. Plus loads of cute stationery stuff like Jeruma notes and kitty cat letters. And cute cultural stuff. And then mini notebooks for sketching. And then a Daiso watercolor set, because I knew you guys would really want to see that. And I thought I could use this as like a new convention sketchbook or a new convention commission portfolio. We'll see how that goes. And a Daiso ink stick, because I can't resist. And Daiso's brand of mild liners. Always looking for more. Uh, highlighters and then these really neat fans with wooden handles that you can paint on. I thought it would be neat to do like some flowers or something seasonal for MTAC in Nashville. And then I picked up some sideboards, so some cherry blossom ones and then some plain ones because I love doing stuff on signboards. So that was my Daiso haul and I look forward to showing you guys what I make with these things. Hey guys, we just finished up at Aitoya. If you guys have never been to an Aitoya and you're in Tokyo or you're in an area that has one, I highly recommend it. They carry everything from stationery, umbrellas, note writing supplies, um, planner supplies, beautiful fountain pen selection that you won't see in the US, beautiful ink selection that you won't see in the US, and even art supplies. So Aitoya really has it all. And I highly recommend you guys swing by and check it out. Mm.
I have a few goodies from Itoya. I did pick up a small sketchbook while I was there also, as well as some presents for some friends back home, which I'm not gonna show you because they're beautifully wrapped and then they've been taped shut. So rather than risk damaging them, I just won't show them. So um, they actually gave us a free bookmark, but I picked up some bath guards, which are made of like Yupo paper, polypropylene paper. Um, these are great for jotting down ideas for doing sketches in the tub. I picked up a small brush, similar to a Menso brush, that I will use for inking. inking. It looks a lot like the Boku Undo uh, Menso brushes that I reviewed. I think it might be one. I really like those. I picked up a small container of Sailor Shikiori. Chikiori in Sakura Mori. Um, I have trouble finding Sailor inks and Sailor products outside of the US and this is a color that is very seasonal and very timely. I also picked up some Uni Blue Lead in mint blue. A Juice Up mechanical pencil. Actually, I think it's a, yeah, I'm sorry, it's a ballpoint pen in point three for sketching. And then a juice up white ballpoint pen. I thought this would be great for small details. And then finally, Kuritaki was doing a demonstration where you kind of design your own highlighter. So I got to pick the pen type. I chose a large pen type. I got to pick the body. I chose foil stars, the color blue, and then the ink cap. And she assembled it by soaking the, the um, interior felt in the highlighter ink. And then we used a machine to pop the back onto the body of the highlighter. So that was really cool and fun. So that's my Atoya haul. We'll start with quite a selection of deleter tones. Also a couple of J tones in there. And the deleter tone packet also includes instructions in English and in Japanese on how to apply tones. Next, we have more comic supplies. We have alcohol and pigment-based markers. We have some white correctionals, including the Grail, a white brush pen. Last time I came to Japan, I looked all over for them and all I could find were the Posca brush pens. So I feel like this is new since the last time I was here and I'm excited to try it out. White brush pens have a number of uh, unique challenges to them, including pigment particle size. So hopefully they've solved it, they've cracked the case. A small tone knife, a set of three different G nibs, and G nibs are my favorite nibs, a tone spatula or tone stick, something super cool. Pintel has released a multi eight in a much smaller size. So this is a mechanical pencil that can hold eight different colors of lead. And I look forward to showing this to you guys. I bet some of you guys are super jelly belly. Some of the leads to go in it. A variety, like I said, of alcohol markers an inking pen, another tone tool, comic deneb paper, and some more uni lead, because I can never get enough non-photo blue lead. On the first floor, which is stationary, I picked up a bungu apron bag. I'm always looking for good ways to carry my art supplies when I'm out on sketching excursions or at conventions. This is something that's sort of like a fanny pack, but a little less ugly. And then a few of the high-tech C pens, because they tend to be pretty expensive in the US. So Animate is one of the big anime uh, anime figurine stores here in Japan. So we have hit many of them already. We're gonna hit another one now. 
So this is a pretty small haul, although Animate carries a lot of manga making goods including Copic markers, inking nibs, manga paper, and even manga tone and tone accessories. I only picked up a few things. I picked up some Koede, I guess that's how you would say it, postcard paper. This is manga paper, but I pick up the postcard size. Um, I thought it'd be easier for me to work with and also for travel. I picked up something called a Nouvelle Eraser, which is a kneaded eraser. Supposedly good for charcoal. You get a fair amount of kneaded eraser and it's a white kneaded eraser. I'm always testing out new erasers. I picked up a tone eraser because I plan on getting a lot of tone and tone accessories when I hit up Sakaido and I'm sure they'll have tone erasers there. But it was the first time I'd seen a tone eraser in public. I also picked up a couple of colors in the manga section of friction pins, a non-photo blue and a red. I hadn't actually picked up these colors yet. And I picked up a manga about tiny people, which looks to be just absolutely adorable. So that is my very small haul from Anime. We also hit up Muji today. You guys can check out one of my other Muji haul videos from when I was in the Bay Area where I explain what Muji is. But for those of you who don't know, Muji sell kind of household basics and they have a very decent little art supply section. I was very pleased with the quality of their ballpoints. So I picked up a few for sketching on my time here, during my time here in Japan. Stuff I can keep in my pencil pouch and uh, just kind of doodle with. So some very basic stuff. But if you have a Muji or if you have the opportunity to check one out, I highly recommend it because they're very affordable um, and the de design is really nice and kind of low key. I also picked up these really cute little hardbound books. The paper inside is slightly textured. I thought these would be really fun for doing like maybe light, um, very light because the paper is thick but not watercolor thick, light sort of uh, trip sketches. Maybe food, maybe animals, maybe some of my favorite sites. And that way I have these nice little hardbound books that can be a collection of my sketches. And everything at Muji is very affordably priced. These were 3.15 yen each. So a little over $3 depending on how the dollar is doing. And then um, I just picked up some highlighters and a few ballpoint pins and a really neat micro mechanical pencil that's probably going to live in my purse. So. Hey guys, we are at Tokyo Hats. This is a huge department store with art supplies, baggage, just about anything you could want or need. So we're gonna go check it out. I'm super excited. I've been to these in Tokyo. So I'm excited to see the Kyoto one. So that was our trip to Tokyo Hands. I can't wait to show you guys the huge art supply hall. We're in Arc Oasis in Kyoto. It's an art supply store. And check it out. They have PH Martin Radiant watercolor colors I've never seen before. They also have the Synchrochromatic Transparent Watercolor, which I've never seen in a store. They have the PH Martin's Pigment. And they have Holbein liquid watercolors, which I've literally never seen in a store before. How cool is all of that? Alright, my Tomodachi, I promised you guys haul videos and haul videos you shall receive. 
we went to Ark Oasis today and took you hands. So I'm gonna disembowel these bags for you guys right now. We're gonna start with Ark Oasis. I picked up a popcorn, whoa, dropping everything, fingertip brush pen, or I guess it's just a brush. And what's neat about these is that if you have access to the brushes, you can actually switch them out. I also picked up some, this looks like it's edigami paper, but it looks like it's got a bit more of a regular watercolor texture. And Arc Oasis has these like huge watercolor and alcohol marker and water-based marker sections. You guys should have seen my face. I was making such a Muppet face. I picked up so many goodies and the prices are so much lower than what's available in the States. I picked up some of the PH Martin pigment watercolors. I've literally never seen these. I wonder if these are supposed to be like Hydrus, except rebranded. So I picked up some colors I don't even have in Hydrus, just in case. And I didn't get too many in case they are not great. I also picked up a bunch of watercolors. So I have heard people talk about Kusakabe. Um, it's beginning to get a little bit of attention. It's one of those brands you can find on Amazon. You can't necessarily find anywhere else. So I'm always kind of on the market for like new mid-range watercolors, but mid-range or mid-price. These are very affordable in Japan. Not necessarily so affordable on good old Amazon. I also got some Kuratake Clean Color FB with the FB being fine brush. I believe these are water-based markers. And I picked up some of the Clean Color Real Brush in some muted colors, which aren't commonly available in the US. And I picked up some, because I never learned my lesson, Marvy Artish Brush Markers. I believe these are alcohol markers. Let's see. Water-based, no, they're water-based markers. So these are a little bit different than their water brush base markers. So this was my Arc Oasis haul. A lot of watercolor stuff, a lot of marker stuff, and I look forward to playing with these in the future. Now it's time for the big haul, the Tokyo Hans big haul. Got a lot of stuff at Tokyo Hans. So this is the Tokyo Hans haul. A lot of great stuff. Um, art supplies and stationery in Japan is so much cheaper than what we can get in the US, even through Amazon, even through a third party seller. So um, of course, I've been kind of saving my buying excitement for this trip, making a list, checking it twice of the stuff that I'm looking forward to. And uh, it got so much stuff. It took two checkout girls to help. So I really appreciate their help and their patience. So let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, about 120, 130 items, right? Yeah, it was a lot of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and start disemboweling. Hey guys. So I've got these little bags to disembowel and I have a wonderful person to help me. I much appreciate that. So I'm gonna remove some of these from the table so that we have room to look at things. So I picked up edigami and watercolor paper. I picked Learned up the kanji for watercolor today. You did. I picked up some akashia. I keep turning them the wrong way. Brush pins, but only in colors that I actually like and think I'm going to use. I picked up a Pilot Kakuno fountain pen. And this is supposed to be a great fountain pen for beginners. Not so great for drawing, but really good for writing. Some uni colored lead pencils. And I've used the uni colored leads before in other pencils, but I like the Pilot Color Eno pencils so much, I thought I would give the uni ones a try. More etagami paper. Copic 
postcard size paper, a Copic Selections uh, small sketchbook. This is about the size I like to work with when I'm working with like doing small marker illustrations. So this is a really good size for me. A small spiral bound um, sort of multimedia sketchbook. Hopefully I can get this started on the trip. Some watercolor sign boards because I really like playing around with sign boards. So many brush pins. I'm gonna move some of this to the side. And most of the brush pins, if not all of the brush pins I got, are brush pins that I know and I like, um, but I don't have easy access to them in America. They tend to be expensive. So Sailor can be kind of hard to find. There's only one authorized vendor that I know of and I don't like dealing with them. So you better believe I stocked up on Sailor goods. Also, um, so what's neat about Tokyo Hands, what's neat about a lot of Japanese art supply stores is they don't really want you testing the product, so they'll have samples out for you to play with. So I picked up a few other um, brush pins that look good from the samples. and some pencil grips that I am familiar with from my trips to San Francisco. These things are great. They're super gummy, so they've really helped save my writer's callus. Some very cute Sheeb and Kitty Cat tags that will probably get sent to a friend. One of the Psy pigment liners. This is a pencil extender and the sample made it seem really comfortable and like a really good fit. I like to use color pencils to sketch and I like to use even the littlest nubbin. So hopefully this will help me out. A, this is a lead holder and I picked up leads in red and in graphite for this. These stickers contain gifts, so I will leave those and we can look at those later on. A really cool multimedia, but mostly marker how-to book that features explanations of different illustration techniques and also has Q&As in the back, which unfortunately I won't be able to read, but some of these techniques, like, like this, for example, is suggesting that you apply your marker to um, a non-porous plastic surface, and then you pick some up, and I'm assuming this brush has been dipped in rubbing alcohol so that you can do a watercolor effect with them. Actually, these are the Artwin markers. These are water-based. I know better. These are, um, I hate using these things though. I tried doing these effects with these Artwin markers and I didn't care for them. So I'm impressed that she was able to do something cool with it. But yeah, there's like a lot of different sort of multimedia techniques that show you how different illustrators do what they do and I might do a flip through of this on wow this is really cool this is how you get like that kind of nebulous effect in here and it looks like it uses a lot of colorless blender that's cool I look forward to playing around with that myself so I'll probably do a flip through of that on camera and they bag all the little tiny things together Loads, I mean loads of watercolors because I can get a really good price here that I can't get in the US. So little tiny 220 yen tubes of Holbein watercolors. In fact, the expensive ones were 220, the cheap ones were 200. So that's like $2 USD a tube, um, depending on how the dollar is doing against the yen. And you guys know I use so many watercolors. I just go through watercolors like crazy. And I recently did a formal test of the Holbein two watercolors and I really, really enjoyed them. So I picked up some colors that I don't have that I don't even have in my normal watercolor set. And then I also picked up some more um, 
sort of uh, Gansai Tanby. I always get that confused whether it's Gamby Tansai or Tansai Gamby. So you'll have to forgive me, but I picked up some little individual full pans of these. They are less than $2 each and they last forever. And these are in colors that I also don't necessarily have to kind of augment my collection. And it's in a brand I don't have. Move those. A few manga nibs. I wish American department stores were this awesome. I mean, they even have a Copic marker section. And their Copic markers go for like 300 yen. That's $3 a pop, you guys. So I picked up some colors that I don't think are available in the US, like light tea rose and tea orange, but those might be new colors. It's been a minute since I've collected Copics. Peach. And then I picked up some pinks in Copic Chow, because these are less expensive than Copic Sketches. Um, I picked up some pinks that I don't have. And then loads of pencils, because of course I use pencils all the time, always looking for good pencils that won't eat up my hands. And this is going to be enough to last me like three or four years. I mean, I'm just recently finished using the last kind of hoarded bits of my haul from the last time I was in Japan. And then finally, some super cute stickers. Many of these are gonna get sent off as gifts or added to my luggage. Some more watercolors. And then one more pan. So that's it. That's my Tokyo Tokyo hands haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for checking out all these cool goodies from Japan. Bye guys.